Let us study about electrical resistance of different conductors with the help of this activity. We have taken a set of cells, an ammeter, plug key and an incandescent bulb connected in series. Insert the plug key and observe. We see that the bulb glows and ammeter reads 30 milliampere. Replace the incandescent bulb with a torch bulb. We see that the current in the circuit changes. The ammeter now reads 45 milliampere. There is more current flowing through the circuit, which means there is less resistance offered by the torch bulb than the incandescent bulb. Now, replace the torch bulb with a LED. We can see that 90 milliampere current is flowing in the circuit. More the current flows, lesser is the resistance. So, LED has less resistance than torch bulb and an incandescent bulb. Add a nichrome wire coil in the circuit in place of LED and observe. We can see that 18 milliampere of current is flowing in the circuit. The current flowing is less, which means that the coil has more resistance than the rest of the bulbs. We find that the ammeter readings are different for different components. From Ohm's law, we can see that the current is inversely proportional to resistance. Whenever the resistance is high, current flowing will be less. Certain components offer an easy path for the flow of electric current while the others resist the flow. Components which offer easy path for the flow of electrons are called conductors and those which offer applicable resistance are called resistors. Download Spark Learning App